Are you wanting to find quality blanks for your embroidery business but don't know where to begin? Stay tuned because today I'm spilling the secrets on where to source your embroidery blanks. Hi, I'm Ashley, the Monogram Mompreneur. And on this channel, you will find embroidery and applique tutorials and small business tips and tricks to make you more successful. So when you're starting your embroidery business, you have to have in mind where you're going to be in that space, what your niche is. So are you going to cater more to brides? Are you going to cater more to sororities? Are you going to do more of children's apparel? Are you going to do more of the gift market? Are you going to have people bring items to you? Are you going to do baby? Are you going to do birthday shirts? There's so many different niches in the embroidery and applique world. You really have to hone down where you're going to be and decide where you're going to source your blanks from. Because the worst thing you want to do is be all scattered all over the place when you're starting your business and say you want to do adult and baby and bridal. You can't do it all at once. So really hone your craft and find out what you're really good at and what you have a market for and buy your blanks starting with those. Secondly, you need to decide if this is going to be a business or a hobby. Because if you're a business, you can take advantage of wholesale pricing if you have a tax ID or a reseller's permit depending on your state. So check with your local state restrictions and see if you need to have a reseller's permit, a tax ID, a sales and use tax. And if you are in business and you don't collect sales tax or you do collect it and you just keep it, you really need to be submitting that sales tax. So, and with that tax ID, you can qualify for wholesale pricing. And wholesale pricing changes the ball game. It allows you to offer your products um, a little bit cheaper or it gives you a better margin of profit instead of just buying it at the price that everyone else would buy the product at. So of course you can source blanks from places like Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Target, Kohl's, um, Children's Place. They're all options to get you started. But you have to worry about the scarcity. Will they discontinue that brand? Will they run out of the option and then you don't have a product to sell? So the quality also is a factor in all of those products. Embroidery and monogramming requires a little bit thicker of a product, especially with t-shirts, that sort of things. The gram count or the, the weight of the fabric really comes into play on how great it looks, especially after washing. So I'm going to share with you some places that don't require a tax ID, that still have quality great blanks, and some places that do require a tax ID um, where you can get the most bang for your buck. So today I'm spilling the secrets on where to find embroidery blanks for your business. And I'm revealing where I get my items from. A lot of people are hush-hush. They'll put the card over the tag. And you're scrolling through Instagram. And you're like, where did she get that from? That is such a cute blank. I want to get that for my business. And you can never find it. Today I'm going to share with you where I get my blanks from. Because when I was starting out, there wasn't a lot out there. So I want to help you. Maybe you're just starting or maybe you want to level up your business. Um, today's video is for you. So please hit subscribe for more videos like this. So some of the places that do not require a tax ID, um, and two of my favorite children's apparel places, um, I do a lot of applique, um, birthday shirts, holiday shirts, embroidery, that sort of thing. Um, so ARB Blanks is one of my favorite places that does not require a tax ID. They offer anything from like these cute little dresses to um, baby beanies and um, gowns and sets and coming home set to um, little shirts for applique. Um, they offer a whole variety of colors. Um, the quality is just amazing. Um, the weight of these, they embroider and applique so well. Um, so ARB Blanks is one of my favorite for just classic children's wear, as well as they have some awesome options for um, Christmas time. They have Christmas pajamas. They have baby bloomers. They even offer bows now. So please check out ARB Blanks. I'll link it below if you're doing children's apparel. Another one of my favorite children's apparel companies that don't require a tax ID um, is Blanks Boutique. I'll link in the description box below. Um, they also offer great quality, heavier boutique quality blanks for monogramming and embroidery applique as well as um, sorry for the crinkling these little knotted baby hats the 
Um, they even offer some swimsuits and gingham, uh, corduroy pants. They have a little bit more than just your cotton shirts. and They also offer Christmas pajamas and lots of, lots of baby items. So Blank's Boutique is another one of my favorite places that you do not need a tax ID um, to get items. So if we're still going on with um, clothes and um, especially children's apparel, Love That Cotton is one of my favorite new brands. They've been around for a few years and I have just grown to love them. I've got some new stuff coming in uh, that they have this coming season. They've got Mommy Me Pullovers. They offer a lot of preppy style, so little bishop dresses, little John Johns. Um, they offer little bathing suits. They really um, do the seersucker and gingham colors. They have little um, vests and pants, shirt, your basic embroidery stuff, plus um, a lot more. They even, this season, they're having um, their Christmas pajamas, have little butt flaps. Now they offer bridal pajamas, seersucker pajamas. They offer a wide array of not just children's apparel now. So check out Love That Cotton. I'll list this name in the below. It's Wholesale Blank Clothes. So Wholesale Blank Clothes is my next favorite for baby items. Um, they offer classic baby gowns and um, these little hats without the knot. And these are some of my best sellers, these little beanies. Um, they come in so many different colors. I feel like I have gray, blue, black, red. I have a camo, a light pink, dark pink, light blue. They might even have some more colors by now. But Wholesale and Blank clothes, I will link them in the description box below. Some of my best selling items come from Wholesale and Blank clothes. And that's a secret. That one's not out there. So go get some baby beanies and classic um, clothing for a little bit of a cheaper price than an ARB Blanks or Blanks Boutique because you have to be a wholesale customer. Um, so you get a little bit of a cheaper price. They don't offer like the ruffles or the zipper gown like Blank's Boutique, but they do have the little mittens. And so I'm able to, be able, able to offer um, the sets to my customers for a little bit cheaper price point or a better profit margin. So another one of, I still haven't ordered from them yet, but I'm about to place my order because I found they have um, a leopard baby coming home set with the hat and the gown, as well as some new items coming out in November is um, I believe it's kidsblanksclothes.com. I'll link it in the description box below. I personally have never ordered from them, but I'm about to, so I'll let you know in a future video how that goes. So if you are not interested in doing um, children's apparel or baby stuff for embroidery, the next place you're going to love, it's um, it, they have all kinds of bags book bags, accessories, um, kind of like the gift market type of items. So you do need a tax ID as well as you do have to place um, a $250 minimum opening order as well as you have to have a website um, other than Etsy to offer their products. Um, but in my experience, it is very worth it to have the quality products of this next company. Drum roll, please. Wholesale Boutique is where I get all of my, um, whether it be book bags or hats, um, bags. I mean, look at this little unicorn bag that I got um, for embroidery. They offer like Halloween items for your store. Um, these are some of the Halloween stuff. So cute and you would place the monogram or name right here. All of their stuff is made for embroidery. So that way you're not having to fight something like a Target backpack with a zipper right in the middle of where you want to embroider. All of their stuff is made for embroidery. As well as, oh my gosh, Christmas stockings. Look how cute these are. So they also have um, a whole line of luggage and bags. Um, this is one of their new leopard. So if you're looking to do embroidery but you don't want to be in the baby or children's space, check out Wholesale Boutique for some amazing quality items. Their quality cannot be beat. I have not found another company that has the products they offer. So another, um, I wanted to go through some other blank 
companies that I have personally not used, um, but that are out there that, especially if you're in the, in the adult space or you're in a different market, maybe you have a different niche, um, some of these places are wonderful. I've heard great things about a lot of these brands. So Bella Canvas is one of those, you know, those softy shirts. Um, I believe they're used for screen printing and vinyl and um, I'm not sure about sublimation, but um, JiffyShirts.com, Monag had a lot of um, baby products as well as adult products. Um, a lot of people use Cavio or Cavio, I don't know how to say it. Um, comfort colors are those classic, like, I think, when I think of comfort colors, I think of like sorority um, with the little monogram on the pocket shirts, the long sleeve shirts with the monograms. And then there's Charles River, the classic, um, they have pullovers as well as rain jackets, that sort of thing. All of those, I believe, require a tax ID. And so I have not personally bought any of those items yet because I'm trying to stay in my niche and lane and not go too crazy and have too much product. So really, I think finding the best blanks for your business and your customers and really finding out what is your best seller and don't buy too much. Try to get really good at one thing is my best advice and then go from there. So I hope you enjoyed this video all about where to source your blanks from. Tell me in the comments below, where is your favorite place to buy embroidery blanks? Maybe I've never heard of something. And if you liked this video, please hit subscribe. I'm Ashley, the monogram mompreneur. See you next time.